Hey guys, what is going on? GT2King here back today with another video and today we are going to be sort of starting a new series where I'm going to be slowly developing a Steam bot that does trading and everything. So I know some basic knowledge of a Steam trading bot and how it works and everything. So this is more of like a guide or, and something to sort of like get me more involved with this because I've been putting it to the side and I really want to learn how to code. So the first things you want to do is obviously download Node.js because that's the coding language we are going to be using. So all of these links will be in the description. We have Node.js, you just have to click download and you have to have a text editor. So I prefer Sublime. You could use Notepad++ and anything else really, but Sublime is probably the best one and it's the fastest for the options it provides. So without further, or without further ado, the first thing you want to do is create a bot.js file or make a bot folder is probably the best thing a bot and if you do like new text document and just do like bot.js so we just you want to go ahead and do that and let's delete this old file then what you want to do is just open this and here on this page we want to start out by defining what we want it to do so uh, you could either use var which is a variable but the best option is probably const which is a constant and I looked up the difference between these two and const uh, gives better performance I guess so the first thing you want to be doing is writing const steam user which is the module we're going to be using which is basically Pre or rewritten code of the Steam API that will help you just read it and code it more efficiently for what you want it to do so and we are defining it and it needs to require Steam user so it's, that's the, what the module is called and this is the module in the code how we're defining it so then you always want to put a semicolon after and we want to define the, our client, which is our actual bot, as a new Steam user. And just put some blank quotes. So this is basically defining the module and the new user. So then obviously we want it to log in. So we want to do const again and log on options, which are basically defining the logon options so like account name and stuff like that so we're gonna go ahead and equal and it's account name and you basically have to put your steam account name so like you just do this put whatever your account name is we'll do that in a bit and then you would just want to put a comma after that and do password and in these single quotes put it in as well so that's basically what it, you need to log in, but this is just defining the logon options. If you wanna actually log in, you need to do client, which is our new Steam user, and you have to do log on, which is the function that makes it work, and then do log on options. So it'll call back this variable or constant, and it'll log in with these details. So we're gonna go ahead and see what it does. And theoretically it should log in. So when it does, we wanna do like client dot on logged on, which is basically what you want it to do when the client logs on. And we're gonna go ahead and put that in quotes because we don't need any variables or I don't know what those are called and we do that that and we want to define what we want it to do so all we want it to do is just console log successfully logged on and that's pretty much what we wanted to do for now we'll figure out the rest afterwards so this should work we also want to put quote there or a colon so what you want to do from here is you want to open a command prompt 
and you have to navigate to this directory wherever you have the button so just type cd and paste the directory and the first thing you want to do is you need to use the steam user or you need to download the module basically so all you need to do is type npm install and the module so we're just going to wait for it to do that and while it's doing that let's also make a configuration file so we could stay a bit more organized so all we need to do is type const config equals require and now we want it to define the file location which is going to be in our default directory so we're just going to type like config.json and we're going to go ahead and open that as well and here instead of the quotes since it's not an actual like they're not actual letters we want to define where we could find these so like config dot username and now since we've made the file it's actually dot slash config dot json so this is the default directory and the file is called config dot json and that's what config is so whoops we're gonna go ahead and put a colon there and just put that right here for some more organization i guess and then on password we're gonna type config dot password so then in our config what we want to do is do like username and we want to define it after there put a comma put this password in here and that's basically it because this is the last so after everything in the JSON you have to put a comma unless it's the last one so we're gonna go ahead and fill out our password and stuff and I'll be back in just a sec so we're just gonna move this to our other browser or our other monitor and type out our password I believe that's it whoops there we go so this should work now because we've defined the config the accounting what we want it to do and what we want it to do when it logs on so all we need to do now is do a node start bot.js because we're in the directory or oh my bad we want to just type node bot.js invalid password okay so that's my bad let me just type i was wondering which password it was because i have a few different passwords throughout all my accounts so it'll ask me for the steam guard app code because we haven't done it automatically yet so we're just going to go ahead and pull that from steam desktop authenticator so just so you guys all see it works let's just ignore that message and you just copy and paste the steam guard app code and it says successfully logged on so it's logged on as you can see it's not doing anything because we haven't told it what to do but it's online on steam even if it doesn't show so for the last part we just want it to do something when it logs on so we're gonna go ahead and type let's say client dot set persona which is either the name or the status of the user so we're just gonna steam user dot steam e persona state and let's just go with busy you could do online away looking to trade or anything like that so we're gonna go ahead and type busy and see what it does so theoretically now it should log in so we're just gonna go ahead and close that run it again pull the steam guard app code whoops paste it in and steam is not defined oh that's why so steam user dot steam it should work now let's see now i'll have my code in the description as well as well as the tutorial that's showing me this oh we have to wait for a sec just so it gets a new code because we tried logging in a bit too fast 
So that's our new code. And cannot read property busy. So we're just going to try online. Again, I'm not too familiar with these things. Mainly because I'm doing this to sort of help me improve. And sort of try and help you guys out as much as I can. So we're just going to do nodebot.js. Let it log on. And let's wait just a sec so we get a new code. And there it is. So we'll just copy and paste that in. In the next episode, we'll... What the hell? I wonder why it's doing this. Is this why? That's why. Persona is capitalized. My bad. So again, I'm trying to help you guys learn and help me learn as well. Just so, because this is a way to motivate me to learn how to code and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and paste our new Steam Guard app code. And so finally, it's successfully logged on. And we are online, as you can see here. So in the next episode, we are going to automate logging on. So you don't have to type the Steam Guard every time. And yeah, this is just a basic bot. We're also going to be able to go into games and maybe reply to chat commands or to specific messages. So I hope you guys did enjoy this kind of episode. This was a live commentary, so sorry if I stuttered a bit. And yeah, I'm going to try and help everyone to the best of my abilities. So I hope you guys did enjoy and peace.